What's going on everybody? Coach Al here. And in the last Dynasty video, we took on Wisconsin. We had to kick a ton of field goals to keep it separated, but ended up being a pretty good game for us. We won 30-7. We're 2-0. and We're number 19 in the country. And today we're taking on number 18, Notre Dame, heading to South Bend. Looks like they're 1-1. One one. It appears that they lost their first game of the season to whoever that was. But either way, just looking at their stats here, looks like they pass halfway decent at least. But you never know. It's the beginning of the season for everybody. So we'll just see how all that goes. Should be a lot of fun, though. It's been a while since I've played at Notre Dame. Let's go to in-season recruiting. Just looking at the arrows, it's either status quo or we're moving up for everybody, which I guess is a good thing. You know, last week, I did not make any changes. Everything was either up or steady. So we can look at all these. We're in good shape for this tackle. We're already in the top five for this guy, although Oregon State seems to really like him. We're moving up for this wide receiver. We're technically like it says third place, but if you look at the bars, we're second for this guard. Number one for this tackle, which is good. I, I need to keep looking, make sure there's no negative pitches anywhere. Tight end, one of the top five for him, and we get a positive pitch. Of course, he may have been the one we already knew about. Uh, this wide receiver, we're moving up, and we've got, what, seven points put on him. Right tackle, we're in good shape for this kid, Curtis Johnson. And we only have like 10 points on him. This tight end, we got a positive pitch for this guy. We're at the top for this tight end. We're at number one for this corner. And three for this corner. I mean, we're like in good shape for everybody. And we're barely putting points into any of them. The high of 10. So it's like, do you move stuff around? I don't know. It's, it's interesting, but either way... I don't know if I should change anything, to be honest. Once you lose, then people get upset, then you can really trim your list. But to be honest, we're not going down for anybody. So I can either pump all my points in the, into the ones that like me or uh, have me going up on their list, or I can leave it a status quo. I think I'm going to leave it a status quo for now, and we'll adjust afterwards. Because even now... Some of these guys who I haven't moved up on their list. I mean, I'm, I'm number one for this guy, obviously, so I'm not going to move up. But I feel like I'm in good shape for everybody, so I'm just going to leave it all as is. All right, we can go to Sports Illustrated. I mean, there's not a whole lot to say. We're still at the beginning of the season. They got us right here. The Brash Rebels look to extend their win streak against number 18, Notre Dame. Look at Heisman Watch. I don't think we have anybody on here yet. It's just, again, too early. Conference standings, we haven't even hit the conference schedule yet. So, let's just go ahead and take on Notre Dame. Then, after Notre Dame, we got to, uh, we get to start our conference schedule. You don't want to spread yourself too thin in recruiting. I mean, it's possible... I may not get three or four guys because I'm spread too thin. Uh, but we don't have a whole lot of... I, I can go back and show you what I'm talking about. We'll get back to this. We talked a little bit about this in the last game. If you look here, I'm, I don't have a whole lot of spots to fill next season. Right now, it's 64 at most. Or 64, I'm an idiot. It's 16 at most. 16 plus 54 gives you 70. So I don't have a ton of spots to fill. Especially if I get five or six in the regular season, that means I only need to get like ten guys in the off season. So I'm not too worried about what happens in this part right here, but it seems to be on the up and up right now. Okay, looks like we got somebody in trouble. Omega Faga, our outside linebacker. Let's see what he done. His grades are currently below accepted level. We need to suspend him and have him concentrate on academics for a while. I have some depth, if I'm not mistaken. I want to go to my roster. I'm going to go to the outside linebackers. And I have 
I, it stinks that he's out, but I got depth there. So I may take him out for several games just so we can get our bar down. This is maybe a perfect opportunity to do so. So we can go ahead and do that. Like several games. Like we could do like, we're already down to 21 points, but we could do three games at least. So I don't mind doing at least three. Really show them a lesson, but at least it gets our bar down quite a bit. Yeah, our starting Nickelback is out for, I think, the next three weeks. Fog is going to be out for three weeks. Three games. Looks like Notre Dame's got a couple players out on offense. Should be a lot of fun, though. Looks like we got a night game in South Bend. and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. The fans have dressed in layers and we'll see some cold temps for UNLV 55 degrees, no wind. The early season continues and we're here ready to bring you what appears to be another fantastic college gridiron matchup. And here comes the Fighting Irish. One of my least favorite teams. I'm going to try to beat them by 80 if I can. Darren Walker, he's got to be a senior by now. I'm sure he's an impact guy. There's a chance I might even agree with you on this one. Yeah, picking the Irish, all right. Looks like they won the toss. They want the ball first, which is fine. Let's check our depth chart for our... Linebacker position at right outside linebacker. Doherty and Scott, Faga, Butler. Uh, I think we'll be okay. Our, your linebackers can get tired over time, so you're going to have somebody just backing them up. So our starting middle linebacker could be our third string right outside linebacker, which is fine. So I'm okay with all of that. So now let's look at Notre Dame's roster. David Woke, Wokey, 88 overall, 72 speed. I'm not too worried about that. Al Walker, he isn't an impact guy, but he's 96 overall. That's impressive. So I'm going to probably try my hardest to show him that. Then they got a fullback that's an impact guy. So I'm guessing they're going to try to run some today. Their top receiver is out for five weeks. That stinks. But they got a good, solid receiving core there, a bunch of guys in the 80s. Tight end, he's not really fast. Can he catch? He can catch a little. He's humongous, 6'8", 256. That's a big tight end. He's a true sophomore, so he's a created player or a prospect that the game created for the dynasty. Let's see, 85, 86, 80, 82, 84, just your solid offensive line. They are a 3-4 team, I think. I think they are. 6'4", 271, a defensive end. 80... 82 and 80 on the ends. 82. Maybe they're 4-3. I'm, I'm just not quite sure. Very good outside linebacker. 93 overall. Middle linebacker, 74. 76 are right. Corners, 80, 80, 76. Okay. 78, a true freshman starting at free safety for them. I love that. He's an ideal player. 90 speed, 6'4", really tall. And they got a true sophomore at strong safety. Okay. They got a kicker and they got a punter. All right. Let's get the show on the road. UNLV has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Not going to be the strongest this kick. Looks to be returnable. Walker fields it at the nine. He's taking Baker. Going to stop there. Uh, let's do a one high for now. They'll take over at the 26 yard line. Yeah, yeah I'm not a big fan of that. That's okay. We'll stick with it. There. They got their full back in. I figure he's going to get the ball quite a bit today in some form or fashion. We'll go crash gold. Now, I'm a little weak at nickel because our one guy's out. 
tell you what, this whole defense seems to be full of all Americans. No doubt so, these kids are the real deal, my friend. I need to be careful about running some nickel today. Hey, that's a good pickup. That's a good first down. Let's stick to one high or four three. First and ten. Ball on the thirty-eight. The D line shifts over. Good hit there. Again, they're going to run the ball on us all day, I'm afraid. But they're two good backs. Uh, let's do a one high. We'll send the middle linebacker. Down and ten to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Fighting Irish line up with three wide. Uh oh. Ah, junk, junk, junk. <laughs> First and ten. We'll just keep doing one high until we can stop it. Coach, maybe they can slow this running game down. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. On the goose. I'll get in the middle of the field. Drops back to pass. He's in trouble. Sack. Somebody got to him. I think it was Bo Bale. So the defensive end gets a big play there. Second of 14. Let's do quarters. Maybe they'll go back to the run, but they're they need the yards. Oh, they're gonna run it. I yeah, took a bad angle there, but at least it's third and long. We're going to go cloud. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 50. Love to get a stop here. That ain't good. Oh, good defense. Great defense by the corner. We're going to do middle fan. We're at midfield. We just want a solid catch. Don't try to do anything crazy. They line up to put this one away. Quarter. Boots it way up there. Anderson. I'm just going to fair catch it. It's going to be on the 10, but that's okay. Okay, let's start off with, it's on my mind. We're going to do some Ralph. We'll do that a week slot. They're going man nickel. See, they're going cover one. Good throw. Nice throw. It's good timing. Good touch of the button. Good play there. Let's do a basic slam with Peoples. They're going zone dime. They got an impact defensive end. No, he's a linebacker. That's good defense. Good defense. Uh, we're behind the chain, so let's go. Uh, we can try a fork. We're going zone. Dime. Let's see if I have the room to do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, that could have been bad. Actually, a halfway decent throw, just really good defense. All right, we're going to go five semi. They're going zone. This will probably go to Anderson. Ooh. Oh, great catch. Great throw. Woo. That was a, We'll break that down. I think that was cover three, maybe. I really could It wasn't cover two. That was cover three. Yeah, they went with Cloud. That's cover six right there is what they went with. I thought that looked kind of weird. But that was a good defense right there. But he was able to thread the needle just enough. Woo. All right, good deal. Now, let's get to the outside with Peoples if we can. We're going man. They may be blitzing hard. Uh, they're doing that, which I'm okay with. We're going to do that. Get a block right there. Great play there. Okay, now we have, uh, let's see, we're on the 25. Let's go with some corkers. They're going man for three. 
I guess they're a four down line team, so. Oh, no, that ain't good. Oh, he caught it. Somehow he caught it. <laughs> that wasn't a very good throw, to be honest. That I don't know if you saw it right there. It threw off my timing. And as you can tell, this passing attack is all about timing. But you look at the slot right here. I saw they went cover one. You see the one high safety. They went cover one, and he gets bogged down right here. Actually, this guy was going is wide open. Look at that. He was wide open. I just wasn't expecting him to be that wide open because... Again, his defender got clogged down by that guy right there. So, my timing was thrown off. So, this is what I was worried about, is this situation right here. But, thankfully, we was able to make a play out of it. Whew. Okay. Uh, we can try fade out. Here are the red zone stats so far this season. What do you think, Lee? Well, Hopefully, Wheaton can hear this. Somebody is about to score. UNLV sets up in the he can hear it. Good deal. He drops back. Goes to the end zone. Oh wow, that was actually a pretty good throw. Good to try. I threw it a little too late, but that was actually pretty good defense. Mm, man, that was close. All right, let's just play this smart and let's just try to get in the end zone to get six points. We're going zone. We're doing that. We'll still go left. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Go. All right, good deal. It's a good start. We get on the scoreboard first. We'll get back on defense. Get an extra point, nice extra clean point. kick. And now let's take a look at the drive like to have another clean kick here again. on the kickoff. UNLV lines up for the kickoff. That's a really short kick. I timed it bad. Walker takes from the ten. Hopefully that doesn't hurt us. Okay, it's a good stop there. So the offense takes over. We'll try to figure out this defense. We'll go back to one high. Get the ball here at the 27 yard line. They shift on the defensive line. Full back dive. Ooh, ooh. And he's tackled. And it looks oh, like he's hurt. Injury injured his elbow. Yeah, he'll probably be okay. They're going with three wipe. I'm still going to go with a one high. Second and two coming up here. I expect Walker him to give it to Walker. Notre Dame comes to the line with three wide. Raw. Yep. That's just sort of what to expect for today. Uh, let's do quarters. We're going five wide, so. Going with the shotgun here. Good play there. Got about seven yards out of that. Let's do a one high. It's second down and two to go. Out for the game. Oh, wow, that helps us. Yeah, he's out for the game, so it's the Walker show now. It's a good stop there. Did he get the first? He may have. Third and inches. This is probably the last play of the quarter. I don't know if they'll get it off in time. They may try to do it. The D line shifts over. Yep, they got it off. Oh, I made another tackle. Probably. Walker's busy tonight. Our safeties are going to be busy. We'll go back to another one high. Again, I just expect them to run it. That's all they've done so far. Not a big fan of Walker that far away from other Walker. Let's stop there. We'll go quarters again. Second and eight coming up here. This is the seventh play of this drive. The Irish come out in the ace They're spreading us out and trying to run, which that's actually a smart strategy. Say they're going draw again. Wow, I'm just <laughs> Walkers everywhere. <laughs> he didn't get the first 30 inches again. 
Uh, hmm. I'm going to go back to a 4-3. Normally, you'd go goal line here, but if you can get out of, of the way with it, you can make some, some big plays against goal line. So I'll just do 4-3 and just keep it basic. They'll either get the first or they won't. That's a good play. I took a bad angle on that one. That was my bad, to say the least. Nice run here. Uh, he looked like he was going to be stopped there. Good run on third down. Notre Dame will line up in a jumbo set here. Again, he'll get the call. All right, yeah. Kudos to them. That's a good drive for them. Okay, it's tied up, or will be here shortly. We'll get back on offense and try to get our lead back. So, I think they're playing it pretty smart. They're going four wide and running it. I'm not too worried when they go into two wide sets. We got the personnel to handle that. Ah, nope. I thought somebody was going to block that guy. Didn't happen. Let's go with corners. We haven't called this yet. We're going man. They line up with split back. Both safety coming up. Uh, that's going to be short. Oh, my gosh. What a catch. <laughs> Six points. Take it to the house, player. That was wild. I got hit as soon as I threw it. Like, I, I should have got sacked, to be honest. I don't know why they're getting people's all fired up there. The corner really goofed up on it. Look, at that's a lame duck. He didn't even know what to, have, what to do. I guess that's a glitch on the corner. I don't know. Either way, we just got very fortunate. We'll take it. Better be lucky than good sometimes. You saw the ball. It's practically doing a full spin. <laughs> I timed that one badly. And he tacks on the extra point. And with four minutes to go in the second quarter, our score, UNLV 14, Notre Dame 7, UNLV to kick. Another short kick. I don't know. My timing's off this morning for whatever reason. Number eight takes it at the eight. Get him. With the spin. And the kicker gets the tackle. Woo! Always get excited when I see that. All right, back to the one high we go. They'll set up shot at the 22-yard line. The linebackers shift over a little. Walker. Good stop there. Impact lineman came through. I don't think it matters, Kirk. We'll go back to another one high. I still think they're going to run it. Notre Dame goes with the ace set here. Yep, run game again. Okay, third and long. Let's get a stop here if we can. Let's go back to Cloud. Ball on the 22. They shift on the defensive line. Back to pass. He steps up. Bo Bale. What a stud. Awesome ball player. Good stop there. Let's get the ball back. And try to stretch the lead. First play, we're probably going to run it. Let Peoples get back to the outside if he can. Not the best kick. I may be able to get something out of this. Yeah, I got a few yards. Let's go back to... Let's do a toss. Let's get him back to the outside. They're doing that. And they're doing that. Uh, let's just... That. Got a few yards out of it. Let's do curl flat. We're going man. I may hot route a flat. I'm not going to do him. We may hot route the tight end. Just to get a cover zero beater. Good throw there to Flair. Pick up the first. 
Nice decision by the quarterback. Let's run it again. Let's go back to slam. We're going to dime. Then we need to go to five wide. We haven't done that yet. Let's move him over. Number 15. Four receivers lined up here. Right to juke. Great play by Peoples. Awesome run. The juke set it off. Uh, we'll put the tight end in there instead. Let me. There we go. Let's go back to Corkers. We're going to flip it. We're going man. We're going 4 3. This is going to somebody on the right. Hopefully, the St. Prue. And they're doing cover one. Not the best throw. He had to come back for it. We actually lost the yardage. And we got one yard. We're on the right hash. Let's go back to fork, but we're going to do it out of twins. We're going zone. Should be interesting. See what happens here. We're going cover three. And let's throw that away. I didn't feel too comfortable with that one. So it's third and long. I, I guess we'll go back to five semi. We're going zone. Looks like we're going to go back to Anderson. It's like the only choice we have if we want to get a first down. UNLV lines up with three receivers. He's looking across the middle. Oh my gosh, that was a decent throw. What a Went off his hands. You're absolutely right. You're not okay, uh, like let's just attempt the field goal. Should be interesting. I'm not the best field goal kicker in the world. Comes in for the field goal that could put them up by two. Let's see, the wind's doing that. Let's do that. That may turn too much. Oh, just enough. I thought it was going to turn too far. Points are points. You take them when you can. All right, we're up 10. A minute and a half to go. Oh, another terrible kick that's going out of bounds. That's going to go to 35. So my kickoffs have been terrible so far today. At least he can't return it. I guess that's the only pause that you get from that. Oh, uh, I'm still going to go with one high. I don't know if they're going to throw or run, but I feel like they're going to run the ball. They're going to throw. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Parker's having the game of his life. True freshman, baby. Yeah. Awesome. That was fun. What a play. Overthrew it. I picked it off. Oh, that never gets old. Okay. We need to go play action meals. We haven't called that yet. We're going to go PA rollout. We're going man. And I forgot. I got the five semi at a week normal. I always forget that I have that. And he can't hear that block. So this could be. We'll just see how he handles it. We're going with that. Ah, I got hit as soon as I threw it. Yeah, I couldn't get that block because of the, the crowd, the noise. It's a good defense on their part. I thank the crowd for that one. We're going zone here. They got that linebacker over there. Uh, we can... Ah. Okay, it's third and six. Um, we can try five semi from week normal again. We're going man. We're going to try to get this one to flare. I'm going to get an extra. I'm going to put him down here. The clock's going, but I'm not too worried about that. Good play there to flare. Pick up the first. Now let's go to... We'll go back to Ralph. They're going zone. Throw it away. Throw it away. Ugh. That's just great defense. Excellent pressure. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go corners. They're going man. Let's go to one of the receivers. Bring it both of them. Oh, too far out. Dang it. Too far out. 
Third and ten, we need a deeper routes, so we're going to have to go to the ace slot version of five semi. We're going man, so maybe I can give this to Wheaton if I have the time to throw it. Ah, just Alex shot it. On the 38s, um... Next time you might want to take something off of it. We're on the 38s. Let's do that again. Yep, but go one man. Let's see if we can get this off. They may be blitzing everybody here. I'm going to have him. Uh, he can't hear it. Dang it. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. What a play. Ha! They went cover zero. I could have went over the top. Much better throw right there. They brought both safeties. I was thinking, man, I need to go to the post. And I had good protection. I backed up a little too far. But ended up being a perfect throw. Right where it needed to be. Awesome throw by Steichen. So we are like on the 10-yard line. So let's go back to corners. We're going zone. We got plenty of time. I got all three timeouts. The clock has stopped. In the red zone again. Let's see if it will be another touchdown. Throws off balance. And it's caught. Just get out of bounds. Coleman's in there for right now. Second and six. Uh, he is still in there. What happens if I do this? Let's go slam. Let's see who's coming in. I bet that guy's going to come down. No, he's going to do that. Excellent. UNLV. Good deal. We'll take it. I thought they was going to go cover zero there. Okay, good deal. That was a good decision. I was going to punt it instead of going on fourth down, but we were on their 38. And our defense has been playing great the entire game. So I had trust in them to make a stop if we would have not have converted that fourth down, but we did. And he hits the PAT. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. All right, 24-7. We're taking advantage of our opportunities. Everyone's all lined up Special off the turnovers. Another short kick. My timing's been off. It, it didn't look super short, but it on the meter it did. Get a stop there. It's 21 seconds. My guess is they're going to just run the clock. So we'll just go with the cover one. Stay back. I'm playing safety. Somebody make a tackle, please. There we go. Actually took off a ton of time. <laughs> keep that clock running and keep that other offense off the field. I wouldn't think they would call a play here. No, they're not going to. All right. 24 to 7 ended up being a good half for us. We can look at some stats here. 257 yards of offense. We're throwing the ball a whole lot more than we're running it. We probably need to run a tad bit more. But our passing game's going well. I mean, we're keeping our, inner, our turnovers down. We can look at some individual stats. Station 9 of 17. That's not the best percentage. But it's 200 yards, one touchdown. He's playing good enough for me. Uh, running the ball. We're doing fine there. We're just not doing enough of it. Flair, it's the Flair show. Right, I tell you, in this offense, it seems like my Z receiver gets a more love than anybody else in terms of receptions, at least. Last year, our top two receivers had, think, had like maybe equal touchdowns. But either way, MVP of the half so far is Warren Parker. Not His last name isn't Walker, it's Parker. I keep saying Parker or Walker. It's Warren Parker. Walker is the halfback for Notre Dame. But Parker is having a crazy game. Five tackles, one interception. He's a whole lot of fun to control to and to watch. All right, let's we'll see if Parker can keep doing his thing. He's going to have to wait a little bit because we're going back on offense. Looks like I got Coleman in here. I don't, that's curious Coleman is in there. I thought he went fast enough to do... Uh, to do special teams, but that's okay. All right, they're going zone. We're just going to do another toss. 
He just hasn't been a factor in today's game. It's part of the reason get a block up there. I get a few yards. There's a lot of football that he played and many more opportunities for this guy. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to do a toss from Pro. It's second down. We're going to go. zone. All on the 24 yard line. The Rebel. They're doing that. I want to read that corner. We're going to bring that guy over. It's good tackle there by the corner. Third and three. Uh, I want to do another toss play. I'm just going to let people's handle it. We're going man, at least. We're going 5-2. If our offensive line can block, I think we'll be okay. We're shifting that way. So I guess we're going to have to go right. Just pick up the first. So we've ran the ball three straight times. Let's do play action off of that. We're going zone. Hopefully I can adjust my hot rats here, my blocks. They're going zone. Looks like they're going cover two. Oh, great catch. Not a very good throw at all, but a great catch. By Wheaton. I threw it a little too late, to be honest. Uh... Let's go here. Let's go Corkers. They're going fat. Uh, they're going man nickel. This is going to somebody on the left. That linebacker is on Anderson. They're going cover two. Ooh, that's almost got picked. That was a bad throw. Uh, what am I missing here? Let's go. Peoples isn't feeling all that well, but we'll give him another run. We're going man dime. I'm okay with that. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. Looks like we're gonna go left just to get back. away from that impact guy. Good pick up there by the center. He is gassed. Oh, he feels really slow. So we're gonna get out of bounds. We don't want him to get forced, you know, a fumble. He's still out there. I could probably let me just I think he's gonna fumble it if we're not careful. Let's just put Coleman in. Let's do that. Uh, let's do. Let's just give it to Coleman. Let's go up the gut a little bit. He's got the body for it. He can go between the tackles a little bit better. We're going zone here. And dang it, as soon as I was thinking fumble, that's what he done. That's what the other guy done. Oh. Let's put in Peoples back. Golly. That's just a good play by the defense. I wasn't thinking that defense van was going to come through like that. They line up in an eye. Good tackle there by Bo Bell. Weak side defensive end. We'll go back to another one high. Second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Notre Dame lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's going left. Oh my gosh. Wow, what do you do about that? That was wild. I wasn't expecting that. He heaved it the other side of the field. Look, oh, that's just a glory play there. I guess that's a tip or tap for that uh, touchdown to Flair from earlier. That's what that is right there. Okay. Well, let's get back on offense and try not to turn it over. So two crazy pass plays for me from both teams ended up in touchdowns. All right, Coleman. I don't know why Coleman's out there. I can't believe I have him on special teams, but just don't fumble it. Oh, that's coming back. Yeah, what yard are we, or what hash? We should still be on the right hash. Let's go four. We're going zone. Last time we called this, it didn't work too well. Let's see if Steichen can do a better job of it. Great throw. The flare again. Awesome throw, though. Right where it needed to be. All right, let's do a toss. We're going man. I like what I'm seeing. Just don't shift to the right. Let's go with it anyways. 
Eh, it's just good defense. <clears throat> we got five yards out of it, though, at least. Five yards. Let's go. Uh, I want to do another toss. It's just on my mind for whatever reason. Let's do another toss. We're going zone. We're doing that, which is okay. I want to read that corner. That's just great defense. Somebody came through. Third and six. I guess we'll go five semi. They're going zone here. Third and six. Ball on the 35. One man back to Drop back to pass. Looking. Throws to the middle. Great catch. Not the best throw. I wanted to get more towards the center of the field, but it, he made the catch. That's what matters. So let's go Corkers. Let's open up the passing game a little bit. I think the we need to pass a little bit more now. We're going man. He's on him. We're going cover two. We'll go to Flair. This is the Flair show today. The Nature Boy. Woo! All right. Uh, let's stay here and let's do Lonnie. We're going man. This so will probably go to one of the outside guys. He's coming down. Uh, let's go. Good throw. Right where it needed to be. Oh, great throw. He had good shield between the defender and the ball. Awesome throw. All right, we're on the one-yard line. Let's go fade out. We're going man. Let's see if Flair can hear this. Oh, he can't hear it. This is going to be interesting. I may have to... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing here. No, he can't hear it. We're going to run. Can I get in? Touchdown. <laughs> we'll break this play down. Flair cannot hear the hot route, so he's going to keep doing a curl. Plus, he's just straight up blocking. Yeah, he went for the curl. I didn't trust myself to go to the curl over here. That's my only other man option I had. So I'm thinking, let's just run with it and try to get in the end zone. Big play by Steichen. Touchdown. Okay, we got that touchdown back. Let's kick an extra point. I feel like this offense works best when you're throwing it and you're, it opens up the run game instead of the other way around. Throw deep, throw deep, throw deep, run it, run it, throw deep, run it. You know, but I think it just opens up better if you do passing a little bit more. At least pass first. I think that's what hurt me on a couple of drives from earlier. All right, good stop there. Let's go back to the one high. Parker's having a game of his life. Only his third game of his career at UNLV, but looks like he's going to be a stud for us at free safety. Good stop there by Bo Belt. That's why you do the weak side under front. Defense van always comes free. Ball on the 26 yard line. They shift on their defensive front. He drops back. Watch the throw. Ooh. Incomplete pass. Good play there. That could have been very bad. Well, coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. All right. We're going back to Cloud. I got the middle of the field. Ball on the 26. Number 14 has four receivers lined up here. Back to pass. Steps up. Look. Interception. Nice. Just a bad throw. So we are in the middle of the field. Let's go. Middle of the field. Let's go. Corners. We're going zone. This should be interesting. Which one? First or second interception? I say both. We'll go to tight end. He was open. Oh, we got to hit it. Or it's a good throw though. Big hole open over the middle. It's a center beater. We're on the 20 yard line of second and inches. So we have let's go back to Corkers. We're going man for three. I'd love to go to one of the flag routes, preferably St. Prue. Oh, just too I I threw that too late. That was my bad. I waited way too late on that one. 
third and inches. Uh, okay, we'll see if we can get Peoples the, the first down. And they're doing that. Got no choice but to go right. Just good play. Good defense. We'll just kick the field goal. That's just good defense there. Let's see if Aguayo can get the three. Should be a good kick. Right down the middle. Good deal. Okay. Hey, we got points out of it. So we're up 20. 15 seconds to go in the quarter. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Another short kick. I might just my timing's been off today. Number eight takes from the ten. A little juke. Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna get the tackle there. And he's going. Across midfield. Dang it, six points. How many jukes did he have on that one right there? You go back and look at that. Did you really see that up the middle? Say so one, two, that's yeah, just, what do you, yeah. I was hoping the ref would get in the way. Well, they're staying in it. They're only down two scores. And he hits the PAT. Just a few seconds remaining. We'll kick and X. Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. They're going to kick off. All right, they're... Down 13. I'm not worried about it, though. Our offense is playing pretty well, so as long as we don't turn the ball over, I think we'll be fine. I'm going to let that one go. Just get us down to the 20. Let's go slam. We're going man dime. I'm okay with that. Let's give us some room. We'll go to the left. Just go ahead from that impact guy. That's good defense. Good coverage. All right. Pretty tight game. It's going to be interesting. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's go angle. Or let's uh, go Lonnie. We're going zone here. R1. Wow. I... Wow, that was prophecy there. Did you hear me say R1 before the snap? Just in case the hole was going to be open over the middle, sure enough, they left one. They went cover three. In my previous formation breakdown, cover four, you're pretty much guaranteed a big hole open above your center. But you notice you're going cover three, and what do you see here? A big hole open in the middle. Again, it's not really based on coverage, but you against zone, just look to see if there's a hole over, open over the middle. In this case, there was. Great play by Peoples. Uh, let's get him going some more. It's first and ten. He's going to break one eventually. He hasn't got really the break one today. Ah, uh, just great defense, man. Their defensive front's pretty good. Let's go to Corkers. They're going man. Let's go to somebody on the left. Let's run a little clock. There's no reason not to. We can shorten the game a bit. Free safety is coming down, which means I may go to Anderson if I can make the throw. But if they go... Ugh. Okay, let's just see what happens. I'd love to go to Anderson here. And let's just go this way. Good throw. Okay, that is... Where are we here? It is third and four. Let's go... Mm. Let's go five semi. We'll do it from week normal. We're going zone. This is going to go to our tight end. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. I don't know if he can make this play. Nice. Attaboy Nash. Good play. Let's do it. The toss isn't really working, so I don't know if Peoples needs to be in there or not, to be honest. If Coleman didn't have that fumble, I would keep him in there. We would do more under center or up the middle stuff. But anyway, we'll try this counter. Oh, no, it's tossed. My bad. I thought I ran the counter. Oh, he feels slow. Oh, gosh. I got to get him out. He just feels like he's about to die. All right, Coleman. We're going to let you do some up the gut stuff, and please don't fumble it. 
question and they were not ready for that option. Okay. Play. They had guys running everywhere except to the ball. I don't right. mind. Like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton Let's of running go. room there. Let's go Ralph. It's a good one zone. We can run a little more clock. We got two center beaters technically. If they had to go cover two, I'd love to go to Wheaton over the middle. The throw! Ah! Oh my gosh! Cover three. Nothing over the middle. You see the safety sitting right there on it. So my next choice was our post strap. But look at this big, huge area right here. What a throw that was, though. Oh my gosh, front where it needed to be. He kind of stopped a little bit. That was kind of interesting. All right, we have Coleman in there. Let's go halfback blast. We're going to do it from weak slot. They're going 4-3. I kind of expected that. They're going man. So I'm going to bring this guy down. And I'll probably have to bounce this to the outside. Yeah, I had to do a little bit of that, which is fine. Uh, let's go. Let's do ISO. We just run some more clock. We're going man. We're doing that. I'm going to motion him over. Ooh. We'll make it work. We'll see if we can get something from it. Okay. Can he hear? It's we're on the four. Uh, I don't know if he can hear this. We're going to try it, though. We're going to go fade out. They probably won't be able to hear it. I just now thought of that. It probably ain't going to work. So what I may do... Oh, he can hear it. Good deal. He can hear it. Hopefully this will work. Oh no! Oh, uh, oh, oh! He caught it. Okay. We gotta break that. I don't know if he actually done the cur or done the fade out or not. Oh, he got bogged down. That's what happened. That's why I, th I thought he was. Re he's already making his throw. It was a terrible throw. I just, it's just meant to be for Flair to have a magical night. I thought I was expecting to go to the corner, but the cornerback done a great job there with the receiver. It's out of my view on the screen, so you can't really tell what's happening on that side. You just kind of have to go with it and hope for the best. We just got very lucky on that play. It's still not a very good kick. Good tag of a 34, whoever that was. It's less than two minutes. I'm going to go quarters. I'm guessing they're going to have to start throwing. You would think. Yep. Uh, pick up the first there. We'll just stay in our base. And they're going to run it. Nice now they may do down that down again. Yeah, that's scrimmage. what I figured. There to break up that play. The no call timeout. They were fixing the throw flag. UNLV Number 50 didn't time. get over in time. We'll go quarters. Sometimes the computer can catch you if you got a guy behind the line of scrimmage. They can throw a flag on you. All right, great play. He just got behind the corner. We'll just stick with quarters. Ah, dang it. <laughs> I completely bit the dust on that one. That's my bad. Well, they're trying to make a game out of it. They're doing a pretty decent job of it, but thankfully we've been able to stay a little bit ahead of them. 
So they'll probably go onside kick here. With that one go out of bounds. Uh, let's put Peoples back in. Put Peoples back in. We're going to let him... The toss isn't working all the way. Let's just do slam with Peoples for now. They're going zone. They're doing that. I'm okay with that. Out of the bass at the outside. Just don't fumble it. Great defense. Let's go toss. It's not going to work. <laughs> it hasn't really worked all day. But we can try it. We're doing that. We just want them to waste their timeouts. Oh, super close. Called another timeout. Oh, we could try slam. This hasn't worked well for us today, to be honest, from this formation. We're doing that. Fumble, really? What do you do? Impact guy. I don't know what you do about it. Just turnovers. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Now this has became a game. It just became a game right now, officially. Intercept that. Dang it. I would have picked that off if that was me. With that clock, keep going. Somebody tackle him. So the old counter gets two, maybe three yards. One man backfield. Run same play. They get the first. That's fine. Well, that's really all they wanted there. Everybody get back to the line of scrimmage. Let's go to run the same play over and over again. They're just going to waste clock. The only way they're going to score is what happened the last time is we just make a bad tackle or something. Yeah, like as such. My gosh. I should have went to the cover. What? Oh, my gosh. We got a game. Twenty seconds. They, as long as we, if I'd have known they was just going to run, 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 I probably went to a cover one. But either way, they got one timeout left. So as long as we can get the ball here, the game will be over. Let's get down. Game over. Okay, good deal. Let's get out of here. Oh, that was a lot worse than it needed to be. It looked worse. Let's put it that way. Oh, my gosh. Goofy game. I sure went cover one that last couple drives there. I just, I thought they was going to throw, but they just like, forget it. We're going to run. Cover one done a really good job the entire game. Oh, gosh. All right, good deal. A win's a win, especially against the top 25 team. You'll take it any day of the week. Let's get out of here. Golly. Too close for comfort. All right, let's check out the stats. They ended up really doing some damage on the back end. But that's because those last two drives, I just didn't do a very good job. Both uh, picking plays and tackling. What really hurt us was turnovers. We had two turnovers in the second half. Fumbles. What do you do about them? You know, it's just part of the game. Steichen ended up really increasing his percentage quite a bit. Ended up going 66%. Had two touchdowns. Had a great game. Good for him. 376 yards. Rushing. Peoples had 99 yards, but it took a lot of attempts to even get to that point. 
Flair, it was the Flair show, 157 yards, two touchdowns. But look at her averages, 19 yards, you know, 20 yards, 20 yards, 26 yards, 16 yards. That's what the fun and gun will give you. We're throwing deep balls, flags, corners, posts. A lot of fun stuff there, but good for Wheat or for Flair. Wheaton and him having a good game, but it was obviously the Casey Flair show. Defensively, West Warren Parker, our true freshman, didn't do anything second half. Not a thing. And I controlled him most of the time, too, so that was, I just didn't play well. But Bo Bell had a great game. Let's see, Fisher had three tackles for loss. He was our impact defensive tackle. Oh, okay, we got the win. All right, next up we got Wyoming. We're heading to Wyoming in the next game. Probably post that Monday or so. All right, come on back. We'll take on the Cowboys, and we'll keep this thing going. I'll talk to you guys later.